Hi guys, what a beautiful morning we've got here. It's nice and cool again. This morning I'm going to take a harvest from the gooseberry bush. I'm wanting to do a syrup with that fruit. So we'll have a look at that. I'll get harvesting and then we'll get syruping. <laughs> Okay guys, we've done the harvest of the gooseberries, got a nice little bundle here. These just absolutely fascinate me, the little, little garden candy. Just open these up and that beautiful little yellow fruit which is so sweet and juicy, just so tender. And I'm going to peel all these open and I'm going to boil them all up and make a syrup for going over some ice cream I think would be nice. So I'll keep doing this and then we'll get back. Well, we're in the kitchen now and we're just cutting up some gooseberries to pop into the pot and we're just going to cook them up to make this syrup. Now, there's a lot of ways you can use gooseberries. Um, you could, you, well, you can eat them raw. Nice, beautiful fruit. Just get that bit of juice there. And... You can put them in salads. What about a cheese board? You could have them on the cheese board. <coughs> well, we'll just adjust this a little and bring it over. Sorry, guys. Just trying to get it all in. So we shall turn that on and get that heating up. And as that's heating up, I'll just talk a little bit more about the gooseberries so like I said you can eat them raw you can have them in a salad on a cheese platter you could stew them I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of water in with that I think just a little bit pop that in there in the, there we go that's going to take a while, so we'll just have to cut out and come back, I think, in a little while. Um, yes, yeah, stewed gooseberries. This particular gooseberry that I'm using, this is a cape gooseberry. They were introduced by settlers to Australia, which brought the seed across with them. They obviously like the fruit and wanted that. I'm actually going to try and do this without putting any sugar or pectin in because the fruit itself is sweet enough. And last time I did a pectin um, in it, I was trying to make a jam and the jam has turned... <laughs> to toffee it is rock hard I just kept this jar for purposes for that so I'm just going to have to that is just that's not even going to liquefy down again I don't think so just to show you guys um, so this time I'm going to try this without putting sugar or any um, jam setter in because I'm actually just wanting a syrup this time. So we'll see how it goes with just the fruit and that little bit of water. You can also dehydrate the gooseberries. That's really nice. I've dehydrated them before, just like crispy little candy bits. That was a lovely tip that I learned from Kathy. On Little Garden Big Dreams. Thanks, Kathy, for that tip. 
just having that little sweet candy in our kitchen when you feel like something sweet. So, as this is cooking, we'll just have a little break and I'll come back and talk to you a bit more. Okay, we'll see you soon, guys. Just back little tip on the gooseberries, guys. You need to um, grow them in a pot if you've got a small yard. Um, they will take over. They just grow like a weed. And, um, yeah, I've just pulled up a whole heap that have come off just behind the pot that I've got mine in. And... Um, yeah, and I've found others in the garden too. So just that little tip. And also, if you're eating them, don't eat too many. You can end up with a stomach cake. <laughs> okay, guys. See you. Well, we're back. The syrup's done. It's not exactly as I thought it would be. But... Um, it's nice. I did end up adding a little bit of sugar and a little bit more water. So I've got some ice cream and I'm going to put some gooseberry over that. And I'm going to try that and we'll see how that is. Oh, that is yum. Okay, guys, God bless you all. See you later.